Oh guys, Free Fresh JD here, and we've got a video on how to make the perfect squad because a lot of people have been asking me, I've got this much money, how can I make a good squad for me? Now, I can't give you a perfect answer to that, so we're going to go ahead with this, and first thing I want to do is 100 chemistry squad we've got to aim for, and you want to choose either leagues or nationalities where you want to put in the squad and a formation. Now, once you've chosen your formation, go on to choose the league or nationality. I've gone with championship and premiership. Then choose your free kick specialist. Even if you're not good at free kicks, you still want someone who can take a free kick for you because you never know, you might get lucky on the odd time. Then I move on to the striker position. Now you want someone who's got a bit of pace and then good shooting stat. Then you want to choose between either dribbling or heading if you can't have both because different play style, you might be someone who likes to cross the ball in and get a header or you might be someone who wants to pass to the striker's feet let him take a few defenders on and score so I've gone for Wilfred Zaha now he's bronze so he's not got everything I said about there but he's been very good for me and scored a lot of goals as you'll probably see now you want to move on to a centre midfield where you can get someone with good passing at least 75-ish around thereabouts but then you want someone, one of them at least with good defending as you can see Yaya Torre there with 86 defending now maybe he should have been in a place where Cleverly is, but because of the chemistry with Zaha, we had to stick him up in the centre attacking mid. I could always change him round mid-game or at the start of the game, or when we go into one. And then left mid, or wingers, as I should say, because um, you might not have free kick specialist already chosen on the right mid. Um, you want someone with pace and good dribbling. Now I've gone for Scott Sinclair here, who has 92 pace and 82 dribbling. Very good stats for taking on the defenders. Moving on to the centre backs next, and you don't need someone with too much pace like the centre mids, only about over 70 and it'll just be fine. And then you want good defending and good heading, those stats need to be solid. I've got Inform Roger Johnson as the first one, with 75 pace, 84 heading, I mean 84 defending, 85 heading, and Ridgewell with 74 pace, 73 defending and 85 heading. Now when you go into the full backs, you want someone with good pace and good defending stats because you don't want to be giving away cheap free kicks on the wings to the fast players and they will do just fine I mean I've got a bronze AD White who's not got the best of defending stats but he'll be able to cover the centre backs if they ever get outrun now lastly if you move on to the goalkeeper you need someone with good speed over 50 I would say about average for a good keeper and then someone with good reflexes over 80 maybe even pushing up to 90 and that should do the job in goal now i hope you've enjoyed this and maybe answered a few questions maybe it helps you build a squad whatever get your team built go out onto the pitch do your thing and go win some games anyway i'll see you next time